Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. Godsmack has made it into my top metal songs due to voodoo. And thousands of you, literally thousands, said that if I like voodoo, I will love Serenity. I know, because we manually track your comments on YouTube and I have a spreadsheet full of your top recommendations. So let's get to it. <laughs> uh I know the vocals haven't even started and I'm like drooling inside. I love the choice of pitches, the tension in them, the way that certain things get these slides up. It feels so exotic and and the percussion choices too. There's like a, a tribal element already. <laughs> well, delicious, delicious. Back to the beginning. <laughs> I think that's diminished. We talk about a diminished chord in there. Oh, we even have strings. Oh. Like, wow, this is like such a crazy feeling to experience in music. <clears throat> and at one point I had to remind myself to breathe. This is delightful, delicious, uh, uh, scrumptious, all of the good words. Okay, I'm, I'm hyperventilating and losing my words. I'm going to go back to here. <laughs> As I sit here and slowly close my eyes. This, the harmonies, they are absolutely setting this tone. It is primal. It is, it's just, <laughs> I feel like I've got this tribal music that has gone metal. Ah, this also harkens back to monks chanting in so many ways. Soli's tone, first of all, is extremely chanting, right? That we're having often one pitch that's really sustained, almost like a drone, and will just shift a little bit. It's not like going everywhere with a melody or something like this. And then when we get the harmonies in there, those harmonies tend, tend to be around like parallel fourths and fifths. And when we get that sort of parallel harmony movement, that harkens back to ancient musical times, that kind of harmony developed around a lot of chanting with mucks and around these like little nodes and things. And it, it set the ground for how Western harmony would later develop. So we put that together with this feeling of, I think we have like maybe congas in here. Uh, the, the drums that they have, I'm, I'm forgetting the example name, exact name. I don't think it's congas, it's a different kind. Um, but those also are going back to some older drum styles and then you get these sort of pitch bends and other string instruments as well. And that is once again, bringing back some ideas of maybe like pre-Baroque kind of, or just Baroque instruments. Oh, so cool.
sound. Ooh, that looks like a live performance at Red Rocks. Sorry, I think that I think that's the Red Rocks Stadium in there. Anyhow, um, Red Rocks is one of the most uh, awesome performance venues. Side note, it's uh, uh, outside of Denver. Really, really cool. If you guys get a chance to go to a concert there, take it, take it. Highly recommend. Um, the his throat is so open when he's making these sounds. It has got a lot of roundness and depth in the tone, essentially. But he does have really nice focus on it, which balances out that sound in a a very attractive way, I think. Uh, I want to go back a little bit because there's this specific thing that he does where he actually makes a diphthong out of a not diphthong. <laughs> it, it makes sense because of the really open sound that he's using, but it's also like a little astonishing. <laughs> it's right there. The word is serenity. He says serenite <laughs> because I think it's an e, e diphthong. So first an open e into an e, right? Diphthongs are when you take two vowel sounds and you combine them into one. Um, and he, I think that he might be starting with that really open sound, partly because that goes so nicely with this incredible open tone quality that he has overall in his singing. <laughs> really cool. He does it again in a bit. love the fact that they have belly dancers too. It does feel like it's pulling just so many exotic elements. Wow, this, like, how is this even metal? It is metal still, but oh my gosh, what a crazy awesome mix of genres. Dream when our thoughts mean nothing and when will we learn to control? <laughs> I love that slide up. Beautiful vocal airing in the background. Love the way it's sort of moving in and out. It feels like the voice is smoke. Whew. Let's go back a little more for that. Ooh, that's right, there's little hand symbols there. Tragic vision. want to say the way that that harmony lingers I've noticed multiple times that it feels like that specific writing draws me further into the piece that upper harmony just holds on doesn't continue with the words but continues to linger as Soli is uh, continuing with his words I'm not sure if it's Soli doing the harmony or his bandmate in the video it looked like a bandmate was doing it but um, in this recording we might I think this is the official uh, right, this is official music video, so we might be having the music from the original piped in here, and Soli might have been doing the layering himself. I'm right there. Quick aside, not entirely to do with music, but it, to do with serenity. 
when y'all told me that if I liked this, I would love Serenity, I actually thought at first, it was in, in a live premiere chat, I thought you guys were talking about one of my favorite TV shows, Firefly, and the movie that came afterwards, which is so epically good, Serenity. So uh, <laughs> I remember joking back and forth in comments, thinking, oh my gosh, yes, you guys are so right. Serenity is so awesome. I love it. It's like the best thing in life. Why did Voodoo make you think of Serenity? And then you guys told me it was a song. I was like, what? So, so this song that's by a band that is making it to my metal top list, right? It happens to be called the same name as my favorite TV show's movie after the TV show. Instant, instant win in so many ways. And a uh, shout out to me in comments if you also love Firefly and Serenity. I know we're all out there. I wish there was more of it. So part of what makes this like have this kind of dancey feel is the way that they've uh, broken up the subdivisions instead of we could just break this down if we wanted to into a 4-4 time signature, but they've taken the subdivisions underneath and accented different elements. We've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, still adds up to eight, which with some really weird <laughs> musical division we can bring that into a 4-4. Music time signatures are a bit complicated sometimes, y'all. But the idea of that subdivision being two threes paired with a two changes the entire feeling of a song. It makes me want to like do like this like sort of sneaky dance along with it. <laughs> go by, when do we go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Why do we dream when our thoughts mean nothing? And when will we learn to control? to get that full feeling of the bridge there. It's amazing. It's transcendent. It's like a hookah lounge. <laughs> uh, I, I feel that with Serenity and with Voodoo, both of them, they somehow uh, take metal to this next level of spiritual. I think that's amazing. Metal, a lot of times for me, it feels like it's uh, has a very physical element to it, um, right? You think about like head banging, everything just feels strong, powerful. Um, and sometimes you'll have a, like a heart element that feels very angry, perhaps, or um, right those those sort of like just overflowing emotions that need to burst out. Um, and then there are also times that I think metal goes very mental, meaning that it's celebrating the mind and we have this progressive metal that is, uh, it, it has so much that can fascinate our intellects. Spiritual isn't something I think is often encountered in metal. I think that's probably the least encountered of those four sort of divisions. And it is thrilling to me. I, I love it. I feel addicted to it. So, whoa. Let's go back to that bridge one more time. A little further. We learn to control. There we go.
just parallel octaves there. Why do we dream when our thoughts mean nothing? And when will we learn to control? I need to let a little when we just don't know. I need to let a little when we just don't know. Why do we dream when our thoughts mean nothing? I need to let a little when we learn to control. I am loving the fact that the chorus was written to allow for another melody to come in that like another counter melody here it, it's such smart writing to me when i see a songwriter composer whoever the person is doing the writing when they leave space for another layer it's i think every songwriter wants it to be full and perfect in the first presentation not realizing that they have to find a way to grow it exponentially at the end. So the fact that we are able to experience it in this sort of next elevated uh, rendition at the end chorus is really awesome. Like a very happy resolution. Hmm. Having heard just a few songs by Godsmack, I'm curious if this same kind of tone and flavor is carried into some of their other songs. Let me know in YouTube comments. And if you want to see just a taste of what some of my other top metal songs are, you can check out this playlist over here. May you fall more in love with music every day.